Hey guys, Elite Strategies here, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial and brief overlook of the new application Display Recorder. Display Recorder is an application that allows you to record the iPhone or iPod Touch screen and export it as an HD file. For example, if you would like to record your iPhone screen as you're playing a video game and you would like to upload it to social media sites such as YouTube, you'll be able to do that very quickly. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to want to open the Cydia Marketplace application. Then you're going to go under the search tab and you're going to search for Display Recorder. As you can see, this application is $4.99. It is a one time fee. However, I highly recommend downloading this application if you are interested in recording your screen and sharing this with others. As you can see, I have downloaded this, so if you do decide to purchase this application, just go ahead and install it, and after you complete installing it, it will ask you to respring your device. After that is completed, you'll see an application installed on your home screen page on your iPhone. As you can see, I've moved it to the bottom dock of my screen. From the actual application, here's where you can edit, you can delete your videos, you can mainly configure all the settings of your actual recording. However, to configure the settings of the actual application itself and how you record it, you're going to want to open the settings application. From there, you're going to scroll down until you find the display recorder tab. Go ahead and click on that. As you can see, there is a user's guide. In the user's guide, it will bring you to a page that describes each detail and gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use Display Recorder. Now I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick tutorial on what you should do if you're going to create a video and record your screen. Go ahead and put the frame rate at the highest amount. I keep the lock frame rate off. For rotation, go ahead and place it at portrait. For video format, if you would like to record your actual voice over your iPhone with the audio from your iPhone, go ahead and click on H.264 slash movie with mic audio. However, if you would just like to record the audio of your iPhone, for example, if you're playing a game such as Temple Run, and you would not like to record your voice, but you would like to record the sound of the application itself, you would click on H.264 slash movie. I don't recommend using the AVI file, mainly because it doesn't provide the highest graphic quality in your actual recording, and it doesn't make it more fluent when you record your screen. Go ahead and put your video quality at high. Keep OpenGL Capture on and Grayscale off. Keep the scale on full. And that's basically all the settings you need to adjust for the actual application in order to start recording. So if you would like to record an actual uh, thing you're doing on your mobile device, you can also add your YouTube account, email, and password. And from there, you can automatically upload your video to YouTube within a matter of seconds. This application has been very useful for me when I do upload videos of applications used in the iPhone. And I highly recommend this to anyone if you are looking to record your iPhone screen. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope this helped you out to give you a better understanding of Display Recorder and all it has to offer. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below this video or send me a private message. Don't forget to rate, comment, and share this video with others. If this video has helped you out, I'd really appreciate it if you could just hit that subscribe button, mainly because it motivates me to continue making more videos and tutorials like this. Again, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.